Welcome to Section 4 and the last section of our Facebook Marketing 3.0 video training, Additional Tips to Consider. In this section, we'll talk about do's and don'ts, premium tools and services to consider, shocking case studies, and frequently asked questions. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Do's and don'ts. Do's. Create a Facebook page for your business. Creating a Facebook profile and not a Facebook page is a big mistake some businesses make. It's against Facebook rules to use a personal profile for your business. They can turn off the profile. Use a recognizable profile picture that represents your business. If you want to build your brand's identity, the best thing is to use your company logo as your profile picture to be easily recognizable. Keep posts short. Posts with less than 80 characters get more engagement, likes, and comments. Your fans can hide your posts if they are too lengthy. Be genuine. The articles you post should reflect your business brand and mission. Your potential customers will find your brand, and it will be a representation of what you intend to do. Ask questions and ask for feedback from fans and customers. Question posts have higher comment rates than posts without questions. Ask your fans often and listen to what they say. Analyze your page performance. You can download Facebook Insights and keep track of followers, reach, likes, comments, and shares. Once you have insights from these analyses, you'll know what type of posts are working well for you. Follow the 80-20 rule. If you just sell, it will cause your viewers to leave your page quickly. The perfect strategy is posting 80% social content and 20% about your products or services. Participate in the conversation. Respond to your followers and be personal. The viewers appreciate business owners who show interest. If you don't answer the comments, people may be disappointed or angry and may stop following you. Post during strategic times of day. Depending on what kind of content you are sharing and who your target audience is, some studies show that posting between 1 and 4 p.m. is the best time for gaining visibility. Optimize your images. An effective way to engage with your fans is posting images that are consistent with your brand and are sized appropriately for your Facebook page. Post high-quality images. Don'ts. Don't post too much. You need to find the appropriate frequency to publish your posts. One to four times a week and one to two times a day is okay. If you post too much, your viewers may feel overwhelmed and stop following you. Don't add people to private Facebook groups without their consent. If you add someone to a Facebook group without their consent, they will leave the group because they never asked to join, so they will not support your business. Don't argue with your customers in public. When you receive negative comments, you have to handle them properly in private. That way, people can apologize later. Don't create multiple Facebook pages for the same brand. Creating multiple Facebook pages can hurt your brand because you run the risk of neglecting your pages. Don't automate everything. When you automate your entire Facebook page, you communicate that you're not interested in interacting with your fans and that you just want them to buy your products. Don't leave your company's About section blank. The About section on your business page should at least include your website and phone number or other information to help answer people's questions in a first view. Don't use bad grammar. Make sure you have no grammar errors or misspelled words in your posts. Some people don't like to read articles with poor spelling. Don't ignore posts. You have to show people that you are willing to solve their problems. Don't be shy. This is a chance to speak directly with your customers. Take advantage of this and be extroverted to attract people. Don't post irrelevant content. Keep your posts clearly related to the interests of your target audience and keep them engaged.